a seed drive. I don't see a seed drive. There's one right there. That? Yep, I was seed drive. should have C up here. Does everybody have C up there? Yes? No? Yeah. Oh, yes. I see. Has, okay. has, a, has a T right. and a number. Sometimes C. I C. Mine has a T and a number that has C behind it. Yeah. <coughs> mine has OSC. Yeah, that has every, every computer's got a, yeah, mine says OSC too. Okay. It's for operating okay. system. Okay. C is usually the major master hard drive on your machine. If your hard drive is partitioned, meaning they broke it up into multiple hard drives, or you have more than one hard drive, you may have a C, a D, and an E. When you, we installed the software on your computers, it defaulted and put a folder on your C drive, okay? So if you use your scrolling bar and look, move down, I want you to go down until you see a folder called My Design. You know how to click and drag the slider? Or you can just use the bottom arrow and click on it. Right? Does everybody see the folder My Designs? Mm -hmm. Yes? The folder My Designs is what your software installed when we installed the software. What I'd like you to do is double click the folder My Designs. Do you know what a double click is? Mm -hmm. when you Okay, good. All right, in your yours, how many folders do you have in my designs? Do you have one? One. Art one? design. Two. You have two? Art design, two, 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 two. Okay. The software installs one usually, and it should be art design an art design folder. Do you all have the art design folder? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and double click the art design folder. Okay, and now do you have something that looks like you have butterflies in front of it? Mm -hmm. Yes? When you get down to the point where you don't have the little <coughs> file folder anymore and you have icons in front, that means we are now not looking in folders, we are actually looking at the actual designs. Okay? That means you're, and these are in art format here, okay? And we're going to talk about that in, in more length in a minute. But essentially, when you don't see the folder anymore, you're finally looking at designs. I want you to left click the first one in the list, just click it once. And what you're going to see, hooray, hooray, finally, is you are going to be able to see a picture of the design. And you will see the information about the design. The S stands for stitch count. The C is the number of colors, height and width the version that this file is in, and then this little red heart, art with a heart, okay? Let me talk first of all about version. Version is the level of software, Bernina software, the design was created in. We are currently working on version six, okay? Generally, when you purchase a design, you're probably not gonna see version six here. Um, because most of it's new enough that people aren't saving a lot out there. They're generally putting them out in four or five. Okay. The your software, the art design software, at this point will only open version five or below. So if you do get designs that are in version six, your software will not recognize them. Yours is at version five. If you happen to, that happens to you, don't fret, bring them in and we'll convert them for you. We can bring them back down to five for you, okay? The little red heart means that this was an art file that was designed in the Artista software or the Bernina software. There are art files that this is either going to be a one, two, or three, or it may not have anything there. And those are files that somebody created in a different person's format. For example, Husker Barna creates a design in their format, but they want to make it available to people with Berninas. So they open that file in the Bernina software and then save it as an art file. Well, that's not a true art file because it wasn't created in the Artista software. So it doesn't have all the information in it that it needs to be a happy art or a true art. So all that means to you is if it has the happy heart here, 
it means that you can size this design 50% up, 20% down. You have much more ability to size because think of uh, that house again. A, a true art file has the blueprint. It was created in the software and it maintained information that gives it the ability to size accurately. If it doesn't have the little happy heart here, it means it doesn't have that information uh, that saved it enough that it can be sized freely and you want to stay within 10 or 20 percent. Doesn't mean you can't size it, but you want to limit your sizing. And if you open one of those files that's not a true art, you will get a warning saying this is, you want to be careful of how much you size this design. That's all it means. Okay? Now, if you use the down arrow on your keyboard, you can then scroll through, well, I, oh, that's not the down arrow and see your designs over in that little window. So if you've purchased a, a USB stick or a CD mm -hmm. with designs and you, you're looking for a specific one and you don't remember the file name or you can see how informative the file names are, um, you can scroll down until you see the one you like. So how, did, how did you do that again, Lori? Just use your down arrow on your keyboard. Oh, on my keyboard. Mm -hmm. oh, and you'll be able down down to see them. I don't know where the okay. is. And those are all in the art design oh, folder. Those are the designs that came yes, with your software. So it's those are designs that are free for you to use. Okay. We're at the bottom now. Does that sort so of make sense? Oh. Kind of, maybe. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what we're going to do though is is that the art design folder was created by your it. software. And what we've learned the hard way that when a program creates a folder, it considers it the owner of that folder. And if you ever sometimes get an upgrade to that program or, you know, you decide to upgrade to something else, every once in a while, because the program owns that folder, it assumes it can delete that folder or it can change that folder. And if you put your own personal things in there and it decides to delete them, you're not going to be a happy camper, okay? So what we recommend is that you create a second folder and we're going to and I've already created it for you because I wanted to put the design in it on your hard drive and I named it something very similar to this that when you start saving designs or downloading designs from the internet on your computer you have a place to put them that you are the owner of the folder and nothing should happen to it by another program Okay. Now, I want you to think about a file cabinet, okay, and we, we are in the second drawer, we're in the fifth folder back, and now we want to go back up to the top drawer. What we have to do essentially is close the drawer we're in and then open the one up on top. The quick way to do that when you are in a folder and you want to get back up to look in another folder is there is a shortcut here and it has a green arrow that points up. We could also click this down arrow and find it, but if you just click this up arrow, it should take you one level up. We're back up to our C drive, or to the My Designs folder. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I want you to hit that up arrow one more time because we want to get out to the C folder. <laughs> so now are we at the C folder? Yes. That's a quick way to do that, isn't it? Yes. And basically, if you follow the path down, if you hit that up arrow, it'll keep taking you back up step by step until you get to where you want to be. You should have a folder right underneath the My Designs folder that says My Designs and Your Name. Does everybody have that? You have two folders, right? Mm -hmm. I want you to select the My Design folder with your name on it, and I want you to either double click it or say open. Okay? Do you have a file in there that says class designs? Mm, class no, designs? I guess. Yeah. Yes. Not, not class designs. Okay, you, that's right, it has its normal name. Okay, you should only have one file in there. Left click it. I'm not, I'm um, not, fi I'm not finding that, Lori. Oh, you know it's what? Flowers? Yeah. Is I it have two or is it only one? Mine says uh, corner. It's two flowers and two blue flowers. Yeah, it's the design is that one that there. I have up there? Yeah. Okay, I don't, I I don't have it. I didn't, didn't get there right. Left click on the FS240 right down here. That This one here? That one there. 
There it is. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, I should have remembered. I renamed it on my computer, but I did on yours. Okay. Now I want you to notice, and I, I didn't mean to do this on purpose, but it's a good lesson for us. Um, what is the art down here? Just I, nothing. No nothing, art. Nothing. Okay. I didn't create this from an art file, and that was my fault. I should have. Um, but I like the design so much I wanted to use it. So when we go to open this, the good news is when we go to open this is that it's going to actually give you that warning so that you can see it. But what I want you to do is if you've selected it and you see it in here, you can either double click it or say open and it will open in your software. Okay. And your screen should look something like that. Mm -hmm. Is that what your screen looks like? Mm -hmm. This is why we didn't change the hoop back then, because this is where we would have ended up with anyway. Okay. But I didn't see a warning about anything. No, You're I didn't right. either. I didn't see a warning either. <laughs> That's interesting. 